pie on trays, it's, well, <laughs> it's like quarter to nine, I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna have a mango, honey, but that's my favourite type of mango, and the Lucky Lash strawberry, look how big it is. No needles. You're probably like, what are needles? Oh. Here, juice. Mmm. Oh, shiny and glossy as juice. Anyways, so in the state in Australia, not my state, it's not known. Workers, I feel like if they get treated like shit, it's just normal people are just gonna react the same way. But if you treat them like shit, they will jeopardize your business and not care about people. Probably the same along lines as soccer players, but you know. They chop needles. And the strawberries. This was about a couple of years ago, I think this was before you know, everything went into lockdown. It's quite sad though, because kids were eating them, and they were like, cut up mouths and shit. Or you just saw a bunch of them. But that's the thing with immigrants. In certain countries, especially in Australia, I'm not saying all white Australians, but a lot of them, they just grew up to not love the neighbour, the First Nation, and I kind of get it to some degree. No matter which country, the first nation or not, you're always going to get the ones that are just a pain in the ass and what have you. You know, the ones that are non, same thing. But they're also good too. You just haven't met them. Not enough of them anyway. If you knew how things was designed and built, you would get it. So when people migrate to another country for a better life for the most part, and it always comes down to survival, alright? That's where you go where the money's at. Until you can reach your dreams, or if you're willing to just gamble it. And most of the time it works out for some people, if they have a career. They're usually happy with working for someone else. Or doing what they love, and just being okay with it. Which is fine, because I think people that have like 9 to 5 jobs, they're not having the stress of the tax and the expectations and the way you get treated from others. Yum. So in my culture, kind of with the sea agent, people love them, so they do this. I used to eat kinders when I was little. I should buy a punnet just so I see what they taste like, but I like it with the lemon, it's going to be in the punnet, or even fresh. I can't go, this one's not juicy. I don't mind it, but it can be quite messy. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not getting paid for this shit, because let me tell you what, I can't take shit seriously. And honestly, it's quite fun, because when I was working, I was a very serious one. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I just want to work and unfortunately the my last job there are a lot of females so you know what that means a lot of talking and a lot of gossiping and judgment I'm quite young too but they try to have conversations with me Small talk is fine. One on one, and depending on your age, I'm not gonna lie, we'll judge your age. If you're like really fucking old, I'm happy to sit there and talk to you because I know you ain't really about that drama. You got the best stories to tell, you have more experience, and I know I could get life lessons from you. You can tell I'm a bit of an old soul. And you also can tell by the people I was raised, all quite old. 
Yeah, well, that's what I'm not. So probably, you know, older than me. Just watching me peel? <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, like, kids be little shits and they'll be saying, What are you looking at? What's it looking at me? It's actually okay. I had a grown woman say it to me one time, but it's just because it was weird to see, like, someone that's not family, but, like, just say someone in the family. I don't know, there's just something about it, so I just keep looking at it a little bit. And to be honest, I'll be saying the same thing with you looking at. Oh my auntie, <laughs> she was so mad. <laughs> this is my mum's brother's wife. <laughs> She's funny. Because I eat with my hands, that auntie. Mm. Me and my cousin, because <laughs> we're like the same age, we're like six months apart. Pretty much like twins, really. We didn't go to school. <laughs> we went sick. Anyways, we went to town. We went to go and eat out. And my uncle, and this is my mum's brother. <laughs> when you're out, if you're home, you're home, you do whatever, right? But when you're out, it's different. <coughs> Fucking hell. Chinese restaurant. And I opened my hands up, but I was looking at my mouth. I was like, oh, you but I just can't help it half of the time. But I know etiquette. 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 My mouth was like, you know, this is my fucky. <laughs> I was like, okay. I didn't know if you nothing. Didn't feel bad or nothing. But I don't know what was up. <laughs> it's like those kids, they know right from wrong. But being stupid and dumb, you want to do dumb shit. And it was me. I don't want to listen. I knew better. So I knew better. <laughs> so my aunt was like, She's been eating with her hands since she was little. You're all right, girl. Eat with your hands. <laughs> I felt so bad. Because I, I knew what I was doing. And, I don't know, I feel like, you know how it is, you, was my auntie's intention when you get humiliated by your partner. And it's not okay. But my uncle didn't take it that serious, he was just like... <laughs> Not me causing little dramas, but to even my auntie and uncle, oh god. I know they don't even care, even now they'll probably like a bit of what the hell. And then my cousins be like, mmm, fucking little shit. You know what I mean? Oh, and then, not me wanting to like, uh, I reckon my uncle could eat this. He's got guns, so, <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's soft. Now you like, give your family members hearts on because they got guns. <laughs> All the memories started flooding in. <laughs> Anyways, eat something healthy, no matter what it is. Eat a salad of the day. Salad can be simple, easy, complicated, fancy, cheap, whatever. Have an amazing day. Bye.